The coronavirus spreading further across the government now. The vice commandant of the Coast Guard, the latest to reveal he has tested positive. He was at the White House as recently as 10 days ago and is now in quarantine. All of the Joint Chiefs of Staff are also self-quarantining as a precaution. This news comes from what we are seeing as an outbreak within the White House, starting all the way at the top with President Trump. At least 19 people who were near or around the president last week have now tested positive. And yet the president is once again minimizing the threat of the virus to the public. The president falsely claiming that COVID is no more deadly than the seasonal flu. That post got flagged by Twitter as untrue and was taken down by Facebook. The president also tweeting that he won't negotiate another coronavirus stimulus package until after the election. He claims the economy is, quote, doing very well. More than 210,000 Americans have now died from COVID-19 and cases are rising in 32 states, while nearly 11 million Americans remain out of work since February. But President Trump delivering this message in a promotional video. Don't let it dominate you. Don't be afraid of it. You're going to beat it. We have the best medical equipment, we have the best medicines. In reality, the president received medical care inaccessible to most Americans, and he was sick enough to twice be placed on supplemental oxygen and was provided experimental drugs that are not FDA approved for COVID. He also received a steroid usually reserved for severely or critically ill patients. Today, the White House physician, who initially falsely claimed that the president had not received supplemental oxygen, now says the president is reporting no symptoms and that his vitals are stable. The White House turned the dramatic moment when President Trump returned from Walter Reed Medical Center and ripped off his mask into a highly produced campaign video. But Joe Biden released this social media video in response and underlined the importance of masks during an NBC town hall. Now, what is this macho thing? I'm not going to wear a mask. What's the deal here? Big deal. Does it hurt you? Be patriotic, for God's sake. I'm Jason Wheeler, reporting in Dallas. Uh, Joe, President Trump is trailing Joe Biden by 16 points in a new national CNN SSRS poll. Today, the president tweeted that he will attend next week's uh, presidential debate in Miami. But before that, uh, Vice President Pence is requesting that no plexiglass dividers be placed on his side of the stage at tomorrow night's vice presidential debate in Salt Lake City. Uh, the VP's team says they don't view them as medically necessary, despite updated guidance from the CDC that coronavirus can be transmitted through the air. Pence and Senator Kamala Harris will be 12 feet apart for added safety. Of course, you can watch that debate right here on WFAA tomorrow at 8 o'clock.